coming to you live this morning from my office and so many of my friends and people I know are having a hard time with this being at home and working thing well I've been working from home for a very 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 long time so I thought I'd as the expert I'd share some tips with you so the first thing you have to do you're not used to working from home you're used to going into an office but now you're stuck at home like the rest of us so first thing you have to do is wake up your normal time and get dressed do your normal routine that you do Put on your clothes like you're going to people in office, okay? In other words, put on your clothes like you're going to office. You don't have to put on the suit and the tie, but get up and dress. Be normal, okay? That's the first thing. Go get your coffee, whatever it is that you do first thing in the morning. You have to have a dedicated workspace at your home, all right? You can't just sit down with the laptop in your lap. You're not going to even feel like you're at work. In order for you to work from home, you have to feel like you are working okay so where there's a space on the dining table and don't worry about the mess for now all of us are stuck at home everybody is a mess so don't worry about that but you need an actual dedicated workspace a place where i just for you not for you and the picnic them for you when you go to work all right so you don't need that see if you normally watch tv or morning time when you're getting ready for work in jamaica we watch smile jamaica or whatever else it is that we watch or you're watching the news if you normally do that in the morning when you're getting ready for work, go ahead and do it. But turn off the TV when you're done. Just like when you're going to work, like you're going out the door, you're going to turn off the TV because you're going out the door to work. You're going to your dedicated workspace and the TV now goes off. Furthermore, a whole day of listening to COVID-19 is going to mad you. So let's not do that. Stick to your usual routine for lunch. So Michael and I have been working from home for God so long, I forget, 10, 12, 15 years. I don't even know. But we take lunch time. See like how you take lunch time at work? You take lunch time. Take your hour, we take our hour, we eat our lunch, we watch something on TV, or go for a walk. Whatever it is you normally do at lunch time, still do that. Call it lunch time and take the time off. And take some time, your usual coffee breaks, your usual bathroom break and coffee break. Take those two, every hour or two get up from your desk or your dining table or whatever space you have dedicated so that you can have your bathroom break and your coffee break and don't turn on the TV. You don't watch Netflix at work, you don't watch Netflix at work. If you don't take personal calls at work, don't take them while you're working from home. Right? There are other things you can do. You can put WhatsApp on your computer, on your laptop, yes, for those of you who don't know. WhatsApp is available on your computer, WhatsApp for web. So you don't even have to pick up your phone to see who WhatsApping you. While you're on your computer working online, the WhatsApp is there, it'll pop up, you can look at it, you can answer it right there. So, so you don't have to pick up your phone every two minutes to look at the joke or the video or whatever. Stay on your computer. As a matter of fact, don't bother pick up the phone at all unless it's work or you have to. If your spouse is also home, and this is the one that seems to be madding everybody because their husband, the wife, the children are at home. You have to go sit them down and get them to understand that you're still at work. And if he's working from home or she's working from home and you're working from home, then you need to each have a dedicated space. Now, you don't need a lot of space. I hear you saying to me, but I only live in a two-bedroom apartment. I only live in a two-bedroom apartment. Okay? My space is the garden. <laughs> we have an indoor garden. And this little space that you see here is a space of maybe about, boy, how long is my desk? My desk is about maybe five feet. Five feet by about four feet that I've carved out for myself. Because of course my husband has taken the other room because he need the big office with all the fandangles. Me, I just find a little space and hold my corner. But this is my space, my desk is here, all my stuff, my printers, everything is in this space. And so that is my office, you need that space. As I say, get up every so often, walk around, go to the bathroom and go outside. If you normally take a walk at lunchtime, when you're in your office, you walk to your local coffee shop or whatever, get up, go out and walk same way. Granted, you may not be able to go and get your coffee, but I do know that there are some people who still get up, go in the car, drive to their local drive-thru like they normally do, go buy their lunch like they normally do, 
you can't sit down and eat it, you have to take it home and take it home. And remember to clean the container, by the way. Take it home and sit down and eat. If you're going to work from home, you have to recognize that it's work. And finally, 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 at the end of the day, sign off from work. If you normally log out of your computer at work, log out of your computer at home. Resist the temptation to keep going back to check what email came in. If you don't check them when you're at work because you've gone home, then this is no home time. And if you're stuck at home with your husband, and I did say stuck, at home with your husband and you're picking them, then let them know that at five o'clock work done and it's time now for you to spend time with them like you normally do, fix your dinner, whatever it is that you normally do, watch your Netflix, watch your TV, watch your Hulu, whatever it is that you normally do. Now, for those of you who stuck with the kids at home, I don't have no kids at home. I can't give you too much advice on that. Except off, that is my tips for those of you who work it from home, who not used to working from home. You have a long haul. This COVID thing not going nowhere right now. So don't drive yourself crazy. Protect your mental health because our mental health is important. All right. I check you again on the weekend when Easter comes.